congregation who are not seated here must understand that you're part of the story. This is not going to be a spectator sport. We need you to tell the story of Jesus. And it begins with a powerful king. He was the most powerful king the world had ever seen. This is the powerful motion. Can you make the powerful motion? Can you make the powerful motion? This is the most powerful king the world had ever seen. So when you're thinking of the person in your house who is the most powerful, think of somebody. Who are you thinking of, Mr. Hughes, the most powerful person in the house? Who are we thinking of? Who are we thinking, Mr. Gomer, the most powerful person in the house? And he wanted to know how many people were living in his kingdom. And so he decided to count everybody. How do we count everybody? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. And it's called the census. And so he said that everybody had to go to the place where he had been born. Okay? So there was a man in Jesus' story, and his name starts with J, who was sort of Jesus' stepdad, and his name is Joseph. We need a Joseph. There's a Joseph right here. I got a Joseph. Who's going to look after the Joseph for me? Brenda, would you look after Joseph for me? And Joseph's wife was Mary. We need a Mary. Can you guys find a Mary over there? That's Mary. That's Mary. You found her, so you're in charge. You keep track of Mary there, okay? And Mary was going to have a so, just to bring you up to date so far, they have to go to the place where Joseph is born. Now, Joseph was born in a town called Bethlehem. Bethlehem. But that's not where he was living when the mighty king, the mighty king, the mighty king gave his instructions. He was then living in a place where Brent has been? Nazareth. How far? is Bethlehem from Nazareth. How far is Bethlehem from Nazareth? How many people think 100 miles? How many people think 15 miles? How many people think 85 miles? How many people think exactly as far as it is from Rancho Santa Margarita to the Rose Bowl? Because that's the right answer. And so then they had to walk all the way, stand up. They had to walk all the way, stand up, stand up. They had to walk all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. Sit down again. Sit down. So, that took about three days. Because if you had to walk to the Rose Bowl, where the Cardinals are going to be playing the Badgers, I mention that because we're going to need some animal noises in just a little while. It would take you three days. But remember, Mary's going to have a So you're going to want her to walk all that way. Would that be right? So what do we need to get Mary from Nazareth to Bethlehem? A donkey. Do we have a donkey? Can anyone, Morgan, can you find a donkey? Morgan found, I think Morgan was the first to find it, so I'm going to look, will you look after the donkey for me? Be very careful because there's some parts there that are a little bit slightly dangerous, not really dangerous. You know what I'm <laughs> so be, be very, very careful with the donkey. And so they set off for their three-day hike to the Rose Bowl, right? No, you weren't paying attention. They're not going to the Rose Bowl. Where are they going? So they get to Bethlehem at about 1 in the morning. And what do you need when you arrive at a place at 1 in the morning? What do we need? We need food. What else do we need? Shelter. So where do they go? Where do they go? What are they trying to get? What are they trying to get, Morgan? No! 
Because, <laughs> sir, sir. And then they did. 
did something that only angels can do. Because angels have something that most of us don't have. What's that? Wings. Wings. Duh. So you ready to stand up again? So there's a line right here. And you guys are on this side of the line. Get over there. And you're on this side. Okay. So the angels had two messages. The first message was glory to God, and the second message was peace on earth. But before we get to that, we have to practice our wings. Let's flap our wings. Flap your wings. Everybody flap your wings. Excuse me, why are we not standing up and flapping our wings? Um, let's flap our wings, okay? So, so remember, two of the messages, glory to God, peace on earth. So now we're going to practice this side of flapping our wings. Kids are done placing your sheep, you go back and sit 